Howdy everyone on YouTube. Thanks for tuning into the watch box review today. So I'm doing something totally new and totally different. And this is an in-field review. And consider this a summary and a wrap-up of my problems I've been having with my Moto 360 Generation 2 46 millimeter. So those of you who've been, who've been following my channel know that for the past uh, couple of months I've had a lot of problems with it receiving notifications from Google Messages or Android Messages, Google Mail, and incoming calls and that still remains the case today. So I don't know what to do. I've downloaded Android Wear, re-downloaded Android Wear onto my phone, reinstalled, reset up. I've cleared cache, cleared data probably 15 times now in the past month and a half to two months. So, and none of it, none of it works. I cannot get my watch to receive Bluetooth notifications on those, uh, those apps. So, I think this is pretty much it. My views are pretty much solidified now. If I were you guys, I would not invest in Android Wear. At least not the $300 to $400 price range some of the newer watches, some of the more expensive watches are asking for it nowadays. It's not worth the money. It's just not worth it. I mean, after 11 months for me to have a defective product, no. That's just, I, there's no way I could agree to that one way, shape, or form. In fact, I have to think very carefully about this, but at the $325 price point, I can't think of too many things I've bought that are defective after 11 months. Now that doesn't include expendable items, disposable items, like whatever, disposable things or, you know, socks or underwear or whatever, but I'm talking about fairly expensive consumer level goods that are designed, that should be designed to last a fairly long time. I don't consider 11 months sufficient for that. Okay, so that's pretty much my view on it. It's a strong viewpoint, but if I had to do it all over again, I would not invest in Android Wear. Okay, now, the verdict remains how well they're going to support 2.0, but based on what I've seen, their support with 1.5, no, I cannot recommend this ecosystem. You're better off investing in Samsung and, the, and their Tizen OS, or if you're on an iPhone, put the money into the, into the iWatch. As painful as it is for me to say both of those two things, because I'm such a fan of Android and the open source world of Android, you know, it's been great for me in every other aspect except this one little thing. So um, now, that being said, you know, the watch totally works in every other way in every other Bluetooth connectivity way, in every other aspect, my watch totally works fine. Okay, it's just getting those initial notifications where it doesn't work. Okay, so strong words, harsh words, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, I can leave you guys on a positive note because this is what I'm, this is what I'm looking at today. All right, so thanks guys. And I appreciate all your comments. If you have any questions too, please feel free to post them on the bottom and the bottom of my videos down below. And um, if you have a solution for me, absolutely. I would love to hear any sort of solutions or tips you guys might have to get my poor watch up and running again because I do enjoy wearing it and I do like Android in so many other ways. So thanks for taking the time today, guys, and I'll catch you later.